Okay, let's get the UI going again. I have just copy pasted the rename script essentially, and we'll just again swap out some stuff. So let's go for all we need to import date, time, and time. And we're going to use the sub process module as well import sub process. Cool, again, we're just going to swap out some stuff. So we'll go schedule widget, schedule widget, scheduler. Okay, this was our select script button. Script and our schedule button. Schedule. So select script. We're going to go for file name. Q file dialog still, but this time it's get open file name. And self, this time select script. And again, we'll keep the desktop as our default. And then we want our script line edit. be our file name. Great, and then schedule it. We're going to use date time. If we go equal self dot UI dot date time edit dot date. UI dot date time edit dot time and this is how you get the date and time out of that sort of calendar widget we added and uh, then we want to do let's just print out when we're gonna schedule it scheduled for instance d dot year d dot month dot day and t dot hour times hour at t dot minute. Cool, and then we can just delay it until a certain time. So delay till date time dot date time. Just copy this stuff. And then wow, date time. Date time. Now it's less than that delay time. Just Send it to sleep every five seconds. And there we go. Print now starting. And just get the current time, time dot C time. And finally, sub process dot call to actually call that Python script. Uh, great, so we do. Oh, and this is like we're running it from a command line. Python. And self dot UI dot script. 
script line edit text to get that script. True. Okay, and finally, let's just do another print after just to get very far. Okay, so save that. Uh, so on our desktop, I added this Python script, and again, all it does is just print the time just to prove it's running when we say it's running. So if we save that, and now in terminal, let's minimize this for now. go to desktop tools tools we run Python schedule at apply and of course I missed something this is also the bad thing about sometimes you're so lazy you don't even remember to replace everything <laughs> save that <laughs> On that again. Cool. So this time select the script. And this time we're selecting our demo script. Oh, what did I mess up there? Close that down. Alright, this you need to pass it in the first one to actually get the string of it. Let's try that again. It's more like it, and then we can basically say when we want to run it. So we want to run it. Let's check we're in the right place, yeah. So we want to run it on the 25th of the 5th today, 2020, and it is 18, 20, 24, and we'll schedule that. Oh, I did I get the wrong date, I bet. Oh, 2000. <laughs> yeah, I was only 20 years out, and schedule that again. And here we go, it's scheduled for then and we'll just wait for that to start off and there we go simple as that now like I said obviously this could be um, much improved we could add uh, so maybe a dynamic UI to add to schedule lots of things um, and you could write it out into separate threads as well it's just a quick example of grabbing a script and then uh, kicking it off because that can be quite a useful process to do